Mythic Bear here. Thank you to all my A1 Day 1 subscribers. I can't believe that there are 271 of you. And for anybody new or just passing through, welcome. Today is August the 7th, and this is our next installment of Mini Diamond Painting Mayhem. These both are from Make Market at the time that I had purchased them, which was June 22nd. These were on sale, I think like 30%, 40% off. Uh, don't quote me on the actual price. I will have that inserted right about now. So yeah, I just had these uh, shipped to my house because Michael's is like a 45 minute drive across town. Um, actually, before I get into it, um, this one makes four. There's four coasters in here, uh, which I think is like really neat. And then both of these, like this is another succulent kit. I'm a sucker for cacti because um, it's from Arizona. But both of these have the instructions on the back. Like you pick out your color, you put it into your tray, and then you pick it up with the wax inside of the pen and then I think that that's really interesting for the succulents uh they'll show you the plants and everything that's inside it not quite as many as I was hoping for inside of each of these kits but they are a lower price point as well so I think like shipping costs aside, if you have a Michael's coupon and then if you get them on sale, because I think I purchased these like close enough to 4th of July where they discounted them, I think like these would make an excellent buy. So we'll just do the desert coasters first. Okay, cool. So they come uh, bundled and ooh, heat sealed baggies. And then here is our toolkit. So we get a pen with a comfort grip, a gray like Mosfa boat. We get, ooh, these are like the baggies that I get in bulk off of Amazon. These are decently thick, nice baggies. And then we've got some blue wax. Oh, and they even like did their due diligence where they say peel this off. That is really, really good. I love how it comes in that caddy as well so it doesn't dry out. Uh, because of how like translucent that wax is, I'd be a little weary about repurposing that for any of your bigger diamond painting projects because typically the more translucent wax doesn't hold up as well. But I think for this kit, like only being $5 and change pre-tax and then getting it discounted even further um, for the price that it is, it is good. Like, what is that? That's kind of, that's kind of weird for, um, I guess like for, to say that it's recyclable or to pad the packaging. I don't know. It's kind of weird random sheet of plastic. Oh, okay. So here is our cork and then we'll be able to use that later. Here is our legend. Oh, they're all letters, no numbers. And they're all in the order of the alphabet too. That is nice. Oh, we've got some instructions. Oh, French. English. Okay. 
So first we are going to peel back the protective film. We're going to find the color we want. We're going to pour the gems into the tray. We're going to load the stylus with some wax and then we're going to pick up the gems and put them onto the corresponding symbol on our coaster. And then once all the gems are placed, we're going to remove the sticky, we're going to remove the uh, back and then we're going to remove the sticky from the cork and then we're going to put the two together and then the coaster is ready. Oh, tips. Wash hands before working. Do not remove the protective film from the entire design. Uh, take care to recover. Wrap up the stylus head to prevent the wax from drying out. And then these are poured glue. And then if... Oh, they say if project becomes soiled during the working process, it, be, it can be cleaned by gently wiping with a soft, damp cloth. Just avoid scrubbing when the project is complete. Recover with a protective film and gently roll gemmed area with a rare tool or rolling pin to secure the gems. Ooh. You know, something else that you could probably do um, before you even take off the protective back is hit it with some triple thick or diamond painting sealant. If I was going to, uh, say, make all of these coasters and then ship them to my family back east, that is how I would do it, is I would put the gems on first, seal them, wait for the sealant to dry, and then I would add the cork to the back. And then I would even get like some scrap bubble wrap and stuff and repackage them inside of what they came with. And then I would send it <laughs> as a present. But that is just me. So these are round drills. Oh, and they even come with ABs. I think we might only get one. I think that you has to be in the stars because some of these coasters have stars in the desert night sky. Oh, Emma's green. That has to be for our cacti. All the reds, oranges, peachy colors, browns. So indicative of Arizona and Nevada. So we're not doing too bad today. I'm not really struggling that much. But let's see. Oh, so the stars are already filled in. There's not any ABs in this one. There are not any ABs in this one. I would have expected some in the moon. But, I mean, that's the thing is if you already have, like, some leftover crystals, you don't necessarily have to use what they gave to you. You could use your leftover crystals or leftover ABs if you want. 
Ooh, so that's where we're using the U is for the sunrise. Okay. But hang on, that's three. There should be four. What the heck? Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four. There aren't any more in here. And then this is empty. This one is empty. Ah, they jumped me. And of course, because it's been like longer than 30 days, I doubt any of this will fly with their customer service waiter, like two stuck together, maybe? Possibly. I hope. Oh my gosh, never mind. I take it back, guys. Well, I guess that's something where if you think that maybe you're only getting three, double check and see if maybe some of these are stuck together. But whoo, man. Okay. That was a little bit of a um, scary one, but yay, I found my fourth one. Okay, so this is where we're going to have the... You again for the sun. Oh, and that's a prickly pear. Okay, cool. So we've got two nighttime ones. And we have two daytime ones. That is actually a really cute set. That's really, really cute. All right. Stay tuned for the succulents. And we're back with the succulents. We have six in here. Wow, it's fighting with me. Okay, there we go. We got it open. Okay, so it looks like all of our Make Market kits are going to come with the exact same toolkit so no need to go over that again um heat seal baggies oh so then these because they come in like the sheets that paint gem has i would say if they're all curled up like this maybe set them underneath like a dictionary or heavy book But I love how, like, we have some cute colors and things for the pots. I definitely think that that is a pretty cute selection. So then we have our same instructions sheet again. English on the one side, French on the other.
And I feel like I might be missing something because I don't know about y'all, but I don't see anything else in that box. Um, when I unfurled the sections just now, I did not see a legend. I do not see a legend on these, on like anywhere in here. Um, so I'm thinking we'll just have to do what we did with the five below ones where we're just going to have to pay close attention to this ribbon because all of these are going to have your letters printed on the packaging like you can see like H G A B C I'm sorry I'm kind of hurrying through some of these because work is about to start and I don't want to be late but sadly, this one does not have any ABs. I mean, you can always add any crystals or whatever you may have, you know, just to use up any leftover drills in case you're um, to a point where you're like running out of space to store things. But yeah, I would just say um, be somewhat careful do not get rid of all of your um, heat sealed bags right away. My suggestion would be hit this one up into bags and then just like old school handwrite your letters with sticky labels because this one did not come with a legend. Well, that is it, y'all. That's all the time I have. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And if you see me more than once today and you like what I do, please go ahead and hit the subscribe. It lets me know that I'm doing something right as a creator. And we will see you later for part three. Bye!